In this part, I am going to create and complete the contact page. And this is the last video on this series tutorial. When you complete the contact page, our project is done. And there are a couple of final touches that you can uh, look around like responsiveness and other things. Hopefully you can do that. So if you have any other questions or if you want to know any more specific information, you can join my Facebook group and post there. Let's navigate to our contact page and click edit page and see if uh, is there any pattern here. Let's navigate to the pattern the contact page looks like this so there is no pattern at this moment i can simply navigate to wordpress.org and then search here if is there any pattern for contact page let's type here contact and hit enter And currently, as you can see, there is uh, some patterns here, which is uh, related to the contact page. I can copy any of them from here and use my page. So let's take a look. Let's copy this one. Uh, I think it's already available here. However, let's use this one. And now I can change the alignment to middle. I can use contact from here, but as of now, I'm not going to use contact from. Click on update and view the contact page. It looks like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the contact page um, from here to group so that I can make specific width here content width and now reload the page now it looks like this and it looks better than the previous one so i hope this little video will be very helpful for you to understand how the contact page and other page works there is uh, some margin and padding here and hopefully you can figure out this one you can add contact from here as well and let's add a contact from here so to do so uh, before going to add contact from here you can see uh, some other information and some other things that you have to understand related to the spacing padding and if i remove padding here there is some spacing at the left side that is coming from media and text So default, there is some default padding and we have to ignore this one as of now. Well, now navigate to the WP forms and click add new and choose a simple contact form. And this is, this will be our contact form on WP uh, form. And if I click any of them from here, I can make the form of field size to large. Again, click email and change it to large. Comments, then change it to large. And save change. Go to our contact page. Reload the page. And then type here or add something. WP form. Choose the form. Simple contact form and click update go to our contact page and reload the page now as you can see we have successfully added a contact form inside our contact page and it looks perfect now i hope this video will be helpful for you to understand how everything works here if you want you can uh, drag the contact form below the contact information let's drag it we can keep it's simple we can remove uh, anything if we want so this social information is not necessary as of now because we have added the social icon and social information inside the header already and that's all from mind have a good day bye